good guys welcome back to Ron's Rise welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where yesterday I posted a new video of the debut of Ferrari's first V8 plug-in hybrid a Ferrari SF90 Stradale hybrid now some people love the car some people not so much I shared my opinions with you guys and told you that you know overall I love the car almost a thousand horsepower that's amazing I did say that the rear looked a little different and I didn't really think that it was fitting for Ferrari is really busy just it looked really kind of sloppy for the rear of the car now you guys voiced your opinions in my comments as well but I actually follow Lamborghini KS on Instagram if you guys don't know who he is big automotive enthusiast he has a bunch of rare cars like a Koenigsegg Agera like a Pagani Huayra like a Lamborghini Veneno I mean come on Lamborghini Veneno and he is a big car nut he does not like Ferrari as much and it seems like his crowd or his audience doesn't as well. I was reading through some of the comments there and I want to share them with you on the mean things that people were saying about the new Ferrari SF90 Stradale. Now just to show you guys, I screenshotted some of my favorite comments. You guys can go to Lamborghini KS, which is Chris Singh, his name, um, on Instagram. You can find all these comments for yourself. I was going to put the username tag or the Instagram handle of the people who said these specific comments, but I don't want you guys going to harass them with my help. You guys can do that on your own time uh, because I know that there are gonna be Ferrari lovers in this video that are going to just crucify me and are going to want to find those people and crucify them uh, for talking about the brand. Like I said, I do love the car itself. I just did not like the rear as well. But I want to share what other people think about this car and see if you guys agree. Now you're going to see a certain theme to a lot of these comments and it's going to be very Corvette Camaro theme. But let's take a look and read some of these comments. All right, this commenter says, those Camaro taillights for the win though. This commenter said, it looks like the people from the front half of the car didn't meet with the people from the rear of the car. And like I said, the, the rear and the front, they're completely different. I mean, it, it just doesn't mesh well for me, but I I'm, guess I'm not the only one. Someone said their design language has gone to clown town and they put a clown emoji. That's, that's horrible. Somebody else said, why do the taillights look like the ones off the latest Camaro but smaller? Which you can kind of see that, the new Camaro redesign, taillights look very similar to this one. Someone said, not a single long smooth line. What the hell happened to Ferrari design? Yikes. Someone else got a little bit more into detail. Boring. Yet again, it looks like a 10 year old Italia. At least they got rid of the headlights they were using for the past 10 years. Still design wise, it just doesn't look new. But with the F8 and this, copy and paste, Ferrari goes on. Okay, all right, copy and paste. I mean, it does look a lot like the F8, the 458, the 488. It does really carry that design language. Someone said, that rear end. I don't know how to feel about it. A lot of people are indifferent about the rear end. Somebody said, very sarcastically, the new Corvette has come a long way. Wow. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Not that Corvette is bad, but you know, I mean, it's Ferrari, so. Someone said, Ferrari has gone straight down the drain. 488 Pista was the last good looking car. Don't at me. All right, so um, yeah, don't at them. Don't uh, go to their Instagram. Someone else said, I'm glad I've never liked Ferrari anyways, because this is just sad. Like I said, there are gonna be some people on Lamborghini KS's Instagram that don't really like Ferrari. He's more of a Lamborghini fan, if you're talking about competitors. Um, so he's gonna have that following on his Instagram and they're gonna voice their opinion. Someone else said an overstyled F8, which they're talking about the F8 Tribito. Someone said the lats at Ferrari are doing a copy and paste job from their previous models, again with the um, you know constant, I guess, 488, 458 design language, I guess that's what they're going for. Someone tagged Automobili Pinafarina, which designed the Maserati Gran Turismo and a lot of other iconic Italian designs, and they said, please say Ferrari design. Another person said, wow, another ugly design. Good job, Ferrari. Looks like the 458 and the 488 had a baby. <laughs> Someone else says, it looks like they stole the taillights off of a Camaro with a sad face emoji. Another person said, 
the rear looks real Camaro-ish. And it has to do with those taillights, I'm sure. We got another commenter that says, looks like a shitty concept car from the 90s. I wouldn't go that far, but man, tell us how you really feel. This person said, it looks like GM and Ferrari built a car together using leftover Corvette Camaro 458 parts. Then one of the Wildling Giants from Game of Thrones stepped on the back of it. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> all right. Um, rest in peace, Game of Thrones seasons. But uh, if you guys watch Game of Thrones, um, yeah, that one was for you. Someone said, it looks like Ferrari is giving birth to a Corvette. That reminds me of like the i8. If you look at the rear of an i8, it looks like it's giving birth to a Porsche. Um, if you look at the back, you won't be able to unsee it, but it has to be on a two-tone model. Can't be like an all black or all white. If it's like the black and white or the blue and black, you, you'll see it. This person said, it's a recycled 488 GTB to me. And the 488 is one of my least favorite Ferraris ever. And I used to love Ferrari. I, I actually love the 458 the best um, when it comes to the modern day Ferraris. Obviously I'm excluding the LaFerrari, that's just king. But the 458, because of the naturally aspirated engine and because of design language, I love the 458's design the best. Someone said, nice Camaro with the flame MOG and the laughing face, very sarcastically. Someone else said, hey, another rebranded 458. I mean, 488. <laughs> All right. Someone else said, what happened at Ferrari Design Department with a shocked face? And then someone else said, looks like Ferrari ate a lemon. Ugh. Someone said, laugh out loud, Ferrari design is an absolute joke. Trying to take advantage of the LaFerrari look, steals the 458 profile or Lotus, can't tell, and then slaps Camaro taillights. Y'all need Jesus if you think this is fire. Well, I guess some of us might need Jesus. Amen. Someone else went with a childhood approach and said, when I used to try to design cars when I was younger, I'm sure I could design a better Ferrari than this. No correlation between the whole car design and its body parts. What the hell happened? This person said, so now I know what it's like to be disappointed with a car manufacturer. This sucks. Sounds like this is the first Ferrari he doesn't really like. Someone said, why do the back lights look like a Chevy Camaro? Also, this person said, that's a no from me, dog. Randy Jackson, American Idol. Someone taking shots. Tesla Roadster, is that you? Um, yeah, Tesla Roadster. I saw that actually on my video yesterday. Somebody said it looks like a Tesla Roadster. This person said, don't they all kind of look the same? Kind of boring? Kind of lame? Surely modern tech and all that will make the most whatever car on the planet in history of human existence. But still, it's kind of aching for this comment. Someone said, laugh out loud, that back end is just an over-designed mess. Another person said, you either love it or you hate it. And that, I mean, that's fair. That's totally fair. Somebody said, all Ferraris seem to be blending together and look and design anymore. Maybe it's just me. And again, like I said, it's just a very, um, you know, big correlation between the 458, 488, and the F8, and now this one. Someone said, cute face, body needs work. <laughs> Someone said, actually, that's a C8 Corvette. A lot of Corvette people in here, man. Front is a Mission E, back is Corvette. Let's hope the middle bit is epic. This person feels how I felt about it. He said, way too much going on in the back. The elegant, clean, simplistic design of the older ones is what made them classic. We, meet, we need the Pininfarina design again. I kind of, like I said, this, the back was just overproduced or over-designed. Wheels and tailgates are giving me a Camaro feel for this one for some reason. <laughs> yep, probably. And the last few comments here. Yo, dude, this is a new mid-engine Camaro with heart eyes. Front looks like a Tesla Roadster 2020. Back to the Tesla. And the last two here, all they gotta do is make the taillights round. Maybe it's an easy fix. And side looks okay. But the back, yikes. Again, that's how I felt. So I know this isn't gonna sway you guys' decisions on how you feel about the car or how you felt when you first saw it during the debut yesterday. But after hearing these comments, can you agree with a lot of these? I want to hear in the comments below if you agree with them or you think they were a little too harsh. Because of the fact that a lot of them were, you know, based around the same theme, it's not just you, it's not just me. It's what we feel when we see these cars firsthand and car enthusiasts they're really passionate about these things 
Ferrari brand passion enthusiasts are another notch up. So when you have a lot of people saying these things, you know, maybe it's somewhat true. Maybe there's some truth to it. I don't know, but you guys decide. I wanted to share what other people thought about it. I shared my opinions. I wanna hear yours in the comments down below. Um, if you enjoyed the video today, definitely give it a thumbs up. Um, it helps get the video up in the rankings, helps support the channel. You can also check the links down below if you want to do the one-time um, PayPal donation. You can do $1, $2, $3, whatever you like, whatever you feel like is worth for the content. Also check the Patreon, and I have my social media links down below as well, so you can see what I'm doing on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, all that good stuff. Make sure you subscribe to Ron's Rides, Click that notification bell so you can get these videos right in your inbox. And you guys be blessed. Thank you for spending your time with me today. Hopefully I made you laugh a little bit. Hopefully you had some fun. And we will talk to you guys in the next Rise Rise video. Peace.